Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 action thriller Out of Death, a film that is directed by Mike Burns and it stars Jamie King and Bruce Willis. Now this film follows uh, Jamie King's character Shannon Mathers who is returning to um, some mountains from her childhood to kind of... Um, spread her father's ashes whilst there she witnesses um some corrupt local sheriffs um conducting a drug deal that goes bad she takes some pictures because she's a photographer as well um and then she's obviously becomes um target number one for this corrupt local sheriff's department bruce willis plays a character called jack harris who is a recently retired police officer who's also recently lost his wife and he's going to these woods to stay in this cabin for a while to kind of you know i don't know refine himself because he's suffering from a little bit of depression uh, whilst there he also gets embroiled in this and decides to help um this woman on the run from this local corrupt sheriff department right what are my thoughts on out of death well apart from this ridiculous title out of death what does that mean i don't know um it's it, it sounds like a 90 steven seagal title doesn't it um this film it, it's it's a watchable film this film is is the best compliment i can give it um I think many of us now, when we see Bruce Willis um, on the cover of these like straight to DVD films, and it's just a reminder of how far his career has fallen. Really, I don't understand why he keeps accepting these movies um, and churning out three or four, five films a year. You know, maybe a week's work, two weeks' work um, on these movies that they're fairly low budget. So, how much money can he actually be getting paid? I don't understand it. And his performances, for the most part, are terrible in these movies. And I've said it repeatedly when I've reviewed any of these films that he's done over these last few years. He's lost his passion for the business. Is it any different in this film? Not really, no. It's, it's the same Bruce Willis we've seen for the last five years or so. Maybe longer. Um, monotone. Passionless. Em emotionless. Just delivering his lines, phoning in his performance. Um, and the film deserved better, if I'm being honest, because Jamie King really puts a lot of effort into this role, into her character. Um, she's actually reminiscent of John McClane in the, in the Die Hard films. Not in the structure of the film or anything, but what she actually has to go through. She gets battered, she gets bruised, she gets stabbed, she gets beaten... Um, and she just keeps fighting back. She won't give up. She plays a really pretty cool character here. And I didn't have an issue with her role at all. If I'm being honest, the film didn't even need Bruce Willis. She could have managed it on her own. The, the only reason Bruce Willis is here is for the paycheck, probably. And to get a famous face on the cover of the DVD when it goes on the supermarket shelf. Ooh, people will look at it who don't really watch YouTube, don't really watch low-budget reviews or anything like that. They'll see it on the supermarket shelf. Oh, Bruce Willis has got a new film out. I'll watch it. I'll buy it. And then they'll get it home and they'll watch it and think, what, what on earth has happened to Bruce Willis? Um, and that is the main takeaway from this film. And it's, it detracts from what actually could have been a pretty decent, gritty film. There are some interesting scenes here. There's a scene where there's a, lo a corrupt local police officer has to basically sacrifice a colleague. And it's filmed in such a way that you kind of feel for both of them. You know what I mean? It's actually quite hard to watch at times. Um, and, you know, and there's some of the scenes with Jamie King, you know, really battling herself and the elements. And, you know, it really could have been one of those, like almost like a survival film, you know, a battle against the elements and against these corrupt cops. And it kind of turns into a Bruce, Bruce Willis vehicle, and it really didn't need to, uh, which is a real shame. Um, there's some weird dialogue here, and there's a couple of weird scenes in this film. There's one in particular when, when Jamie King and Bruce, Bruce Willis's characters first meet. They have a weird sit-down and a, <laughs> a reveal-all discussion. Bruce Willis reveals who he is why he's there and jamie king does the same thing reveals who she is why he's there why she's there 
Uh, I guess the idea of the idea is for them to both develop trust between each other. But hang on, you don't have time for that because there's people chasing you trying to kill you, literally, seconds away. It seemed like a really odd scene, and it, it, maybe it would have worked better if Bruce Willis was actually trying in the scene, but he really wasn't. And the soundtrack as well, though, it, it doesn't help this film at all. It's like this southern twang of this soundtrack. It's, it, it's, it's like some cliched southern music. Um, and I, I almost felt like there was going to be a character shouting squeal, piggy, squeal at some point. It, 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 it just didn't work. It was actually grating and annoying, the soundtrack. So I think this film is watchable in many ways, but I think it could have been a lot more. Um, I really do. I think, it, it for me, it feels like the film was written and developed without Bruce Willis's character and then me perhaps he, they brought him on board and wrote this character into the film and, and and you can really feel that when you watch it um and I do reiterate as well it didn't need Bruce Willis this film um it was fine on its own without him um but I suppose you know if you're a mega fan of Bruce Willis then you're probably going to want to watch it I don't imagine you're going to particularly enjoy it but there are aspects of this film that are well made. It's got decent production values. There are decent performances by a lot of the cast. But it's a predictable film. Um, it's fairly generic. Um, so, yeah, that's my review for Out of Death. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It's certainly watchable, but that's the best compliment I can give it, unfortunately. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like this review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.